you know, a lot of times, you know, in Texas or Florida, those bass will be spawning in January. And in Michigan, where I live, I mean, it's gonna be, you know, late April or May for sure before the bass start to spawn. You know, the spawn across the country lasts for, for several months. And, you know, there's definitely um, a trigger based on the, you know, the, the water clarity, but it's also those moon phases. So you can, you can follow the new moon and the full moon and know that those are two spikes when you're gonna see a lot of bass moving shallow, but the water temperature also. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, in Texas or Florida, those bass will be spawning in January. And in Michigan, where I live, I mean, it's going to be, you know, late April or May for sure before the bass start to spawn. So, you know, you can follow the spawn as you see the temperatures warm. And again, you'll see those spikes on that new moon and on that full moon when you see waves of fish moving up to spawn. And not just the bass, but also the food that they eat. So, you know, the bluegill spawn and the shad spawn happens after the largemouth uh, bass spawn. So that's the, the next moon after the bass spawn, you're gonna see that. And again, those bass know that, and they're gonna be up there, you know, feeding on bluegill, especially around those bluegill beds. And they're definitely looking for that shad spawn. So you're gonna see that happen the next month after you see that big wave of bass moving up in the shallows.